Alrighty, let's play this in full. This is here in step mode. This is a rough pass, as you mentioned here. Boom, that's it. Let me just double check if this is my playback or it's the scene. It is the scene. All right. So you are asking mainly about body mechanics. I'd be careful with... It feels like it feels like I'm moving my thing around. <laughs> if you have an arc in that drop this way, it starts to, and I notice this, you're just in step. Let's just be careful as you spline this. You can see this here. <clears throat> as you go down, it flattens out and stays within that range, right? So like that. Which is why not if this starts to be all taut and straight but then you would have to snap down the legs fast because of that snap down and then it swings back up just something to watch out for as you go up there almost feels like you want to hold this a bit longer it's a bit tr it's a bit tricky it's a tricky thing with your step mode with smooth camera which it's reminiscent of uh, Spider-Verse, but this gets very, very stroby. You might be better off splining this. Also, camera-wise, we're very low, very edgy, and now we're starting to be off camera. And then, I mean, cutting off the camera there, but... And even this feels a bit like we're getting so close and so high that you almost want to be bit further back you're almost forming tangents there and then you suddenly snap back it's not quite, I'm not super clear as to what's going on because even the camera stops if you look at the background the camera gets has a slight pause and it tilts over and it goes away and then it snaps bang away into a smoother camera um, and even that is extremely jarring I, I would really look into splining right away and you can just have to fight through that spliny part, but since it's swinging around, I think it should be okay. But if you swing down, there's also something about as you go down. I'm I'm almost missing like a moment where, with this down, this, imagine that arm. Imagine this is shorter, the rope. The arm is here, the character is here, and whatever legs are doing, but. After that, worry and then down, it's just holding on, and it's the weight is is further down and not always here. This feels like a magical place for him to suddenly be up there and to let go. And I know it's just the tongue; it's kind of a reveal. I don't know. It's still, that just seems a bit funky there. I'm just curious about this and spline and potentially blur so you have to think about it is this going to be blurred or not is this still going to be readable again it's just the staging is is a bit off there and i would just probably go further out and not so close to camera and as you go up here it feels like it again it flattens a bit you want to make sure that it has enough hang time through here and then into a drop and then i'm not quite sure what those arms are doing here they have this I guess this type of arc this guy goes over there but then you see how this arm starts that turn and then kind of stops and just the wrist flops around and then moves over what's the other guy doing you have this and that arm has a big move down but then it will suddenly back up yeah I know it seems very messy at this point this especially is crazy town so Spline, 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 everything, so we understand what's really going on. Even with this, I'm not quite sure where. He does this and a backflip, but then visually looks like he's traveling and going up again. I'm just not quite sure if this is all legal in terms of what's going on. Maybe you also have to put in some cubes in space, receding. Almost like Fifth Element style, little cars flying by. Just put in cubes. So we can clearly see what the camera's doing. That's kind of it's kind of my those are my thoughts right now. It's just a bit messy to look at, and too close to camera where 
like this hit stuff like that is a bit off. So I would just hit spline and resend it. And then this guy you are mentioning. We love your input. Also some thoughts on this crocodile dance I finished a while ago. Something feels off, but not sure what. So as I was watching this, there was a, a weird pop and a very, very fast root movement here. So that's my main thing. And his arms feel really close together. But you can see the spacing if you look at... First of all, look at the root. So we go over here. But it's... It's one of those common animation mistakes there where the root is traveling this way. But you can see how that foot is already going up. There's already less pressure, pressure on this. The toes are up. And it's already up in the air. Yet it's doing a really fast move this way where... I'll just keep this on the ground a bit longer for that push off and then you can come over here. It's just something that feels a bit strange. And then this, you have this very fast move this way if you look at it in real time. There's something I'm just not quite buying in terms of the weight reversal there where he goes over there and pushes himself right over there. Because the other thing is the weight is here. That's a horrible line there. I can't even draw straight. But the leg is pointed this way. So for it to go this way at that speed, the leg would have to be at least here. So it's somewhat tilted this way to push this way, if that makes sense. That just seems very, very off. And then watch out, you got a very quick move and then a fairly quick stop too where I feel like that leg would have to be on the ground a bit sooner to stop that momentum going over there. So this is throughout the whole shot. I always look at that relationship and that principle on your root. And if you look at the chest and the head, there's some weird things where this almost feels very broken where it's kind of pointing this way but then the head is pointed towards us. And then it has a bit of a translate move over there. Just seems slightly broken. And then you can track your nose. As you go over there, you have this. It's this big move this way. Even though here, I feel like there's almost a little bit of a slowdown. And then accelerates a tiny bit more. It's extremely subtle. But the main thing is that your nose is basically doing this. You're going all the way into this. And then... Bam! And then it's fairly straight up doing that type of thing. Where you would feel a bit more of a wider arc. But then as that head goes up, boom, it suddenly stops. And goes over there. And you would almost think that doing such a big move to the left. That the head would drag a bit, sideways tilt and nose up. Just a bit more. And then on that sudden stop. Overshoot a bit, but you can see how your nose is here. Here. Boom, and then right over there, so it almost hits this boom, this invisible wall. It just continues on with it's just hiccups. Where like the back here suddenly feels like it's stuck. And then suddenly pops out right here. It's like there's some disconnects between the head and the back part there. Here the head feels like it's just popping and translating over. So to me, it's just an overall cleanup. And then what I was saying about the arms, you got moments where okay, this feels broken in terms of how you push that shoulder. And then I guess you can crank that shoulder in. Uh, it's a bit much though, but then I feel like you're really starting to intersect and you can see it here. You're intersecting the body. This gets a bit better. Intersections through there. This feels very close. And it feels more like it's a it's a move that's been almost rotoscoped. I mean, it seems to be the Carlton dance move, I think, right? Dance, da dance, dance, da dance. That's what it feels like. But it feels like it's just translated onto a rig. Even if it's visually, not through mocap, it feels like you're overextending your IK arm here. Without really considering the wideness and mass of that rig. So it feels like you can do kind of translate those motions onto that rig a bit better in, in respect to its weight and and physicality all right that's kind of it for me thank you all right 
There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.